TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to go to family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, don't forget, we do got Patreon. We do got merch. And, you know, twitch.com if you want to watch any of the live streams or you want to catch the next one. Uh, this is the username, of course. But what I will say, Season 2, Episode 4, Kitchen Nightmare. Let's get into it. White House Station, New Jersey. A quaint village surrounded by rich farmland. It's a popular place for New York commuters to live. Bill and Adele ran successful diners here for decades. We made with the previous businesses, approximately a million dollars. I said, that's it, I'm retired, I'm done, I'm finished. Hey, Charlie. It was nice. When we retired, by the third day, I was bored. But in 2006, they came out of retirement to open their first fine dining restaurant with their daughter, Cheryl. We love Florida. We love the tropical atmosphere. So I thought Florida. No, ma'am. I can already tell you this is going to. Florida doesn't have any good food naturally. So what is it that you're going to cook in here? What food are you going to have? Hyphen mangoes. Flamingos. They want it to be kind of a um, high class restaurant. It's tacky. And it's hideous. Hideous beyond belief. This restaurant is very poorly run. We know we have big problems here. Adele doesn't respect us. Girls, we know. Adele tells me to shut up, and she's actually cursed. Shut your mouth already, asshole. Hey. Adele is crazy. Aggressive. Oh, All right, here I go. I do the state. I do the raw one. I do with all the maintenance. It's really hard. I get really upset when I see Bill having to overwork like that. This man should be retired. I think they said medium. medium let you know, you let your wife run the show for a second and she wanted to come out of retirement. You came out of retirement. Now you breaking your back doing all of this. But but you love that woman. And, and y'all love y'all's daughter. So I get it. I get the thought behind it. But at the same time... Hey, you got to lead. If you don't want to do this, don't do it. And a, you know what I'm saying? Me and Rare. The food here is fabulous. You haven't served that time, have you? Yep. I've been a chef of flamingos for about four weeks. The food right now, it's less than mediocre. I definitely wish I could redesign the menu, but they don't want me to change anything. That what do you want me to do? Flamingos is doing lousy, and we don't know why. I can't sleep at night because I think we don't know of why the money crazy. we spent that would have been our retirement money. Taxes are coming up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see us out in the street almost. If this goes belly up, I could lose everything. How am I going to start over? I can't think of anyone else that could help us, but. Gordon Ramsay. I mean, he cuts right through the shit, and we are in deep shit. You are the SHIT, though. I heard you. I heard how you talk to your staff. And then y'all order, too, so I know y'all for sure solidified in y'all ways. Like you, you think your way is it, and there ain't no other way, probably. Station, New Jersey. Not exactly the New Jersey I know. Look at this place. In America, taxes are done once a year. If you have a business, you got to do it manually. Yes, you have to do it manually, period. Yeah. I'm here to visit a restaurant called Flamingos. It's a long time before lunch, so I'm going to visit the family at home rather than go straight to the restaurant. God, the smell of manure is strong. Wow, that 
was a road and a half. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Chef Ramsay. Uh, Gordon, please. Good to see you. Bill. Yes? Bill, yes. Good to meet you, sir. How old are you? I am 70. You look great for 70. You know that. Thank you. Huh? And you're setting this up for a few years' time for retirement or what? Well, I'm supposed to be retired now, but I bought a restaurant instead. <laughs> and now I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> you honestly came out. I came out of retirement to open a restaurant. To open a restaurant. Oh, I had restaurants before. I had about. Came out of retirement to open a restaurant, which which what is it? What's the statistic in America? Like sixty percent of rest? No, eighty percent of restaurants fail or something like that. That's tough. Four of them before, uh -huh. and I made a lot of money with them, but this one is. I don't know what's the matter with it. I need Chef Ramsay's help to try to make this a successful restaurant for Cheryl and Adele. I'd like you to meet Chef Ramsay. How are you? Oh, Gordon, oh, nice to see you, my darling. Oh, the big question for me is, you had a restaurant. Yes. Yeah, we started a diner. So then you sell them, you go into retirement. Right. Mm -hmm. Why would you come out of retirement to buy another restaurant? She wanted to do this as a family. Yeah. My daughter, Cheryl, and myself. Would you like to meet Cheryl? Please. Yeah, the father looking like, not we, y'all. I didn't want to do this. <laughs> Cheryl. Hello. Hello. Good to meet you. Good to Likewise, meet you as well. Is, she you lived know, there? Do you just pop over for a slice of cake? No, I live here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm 42 years old. Okay, like, I know y'all heard me say my daughter can stay as long as she want, or if things get rough, like, you can always come back. But 42? Ma'am. You got go, go. Go on. So, no, I'm just, it, no, I'm not playing. Go on. Just me. I left mum 24 years ago. Yeah. What are you still doing here? I haven't had a paycheck in two years. Well, I have to live home. My daughter, Cheryl, she's still living with us. But she doesn't bring anyone home. No guys. Forget that. OK. Should we get to the restaurant? Sure. She's 42? OK, for the last two years, she hasn't had a paycheck. But what about the other 40 years? Was she in the house those years, too? Has she ever been gone at all? Let me drive you there. Let's go on a little scenic route, yeah? All right. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Let's go, princess. Okay. So, tell me, who came up with the word flamingos? No, it's flamingos. 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 Who? Flamingos. 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 It's flamingos. Not flamingos. Flamingos. FLA. FLA slash mangoes. Not flamingos. Not flamingos. Flamingos? Yeah, flamingos. Right. Restaurant in New Jersey? Yeah, why not? Are you fucking crazy? There you are. Thank you so much for the lift. She's wow. trying to put her little beard in. Gordon don't want you, man. Oh, Florida mango. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my God. It's like a zoo in here. Yeah, well, it is tropical. Who designed it? My daughter decorated it. Amazing. How drunk was she when she put the final sketches together? We do like the tropics. I don't see anything wrong in bringing tropical to White House Station. This is Jody. She's Jody. going to take care of you. Okay, brilliant. Okay. Thank you, Dal. This is this terrible is decor. It's endless. Okay, um, let's start off. Florida restaurants don't even look like this. Florida don't even, like, nothing in here really remind me of Florida. I've never even ate a mango in Florida one time. With Ali tuna right. on the flaming tiki platter. A tiki? And then I'll end up with that tsunami on filet mignon. Okay. Thank you. Chef Ramsay. Oh, all right. I think Chef Ramsay's mouth's going to drop to the floor when he sees a few of the things on the menu. Our tuna appetizer. Thank you. Enjoy. <coughs> Is that always that hot in terms of spicing? They have a tendency to spice things up a bit. It's an embarrassment to tuna. Yes. Ask Shell to taste that other little end there. I will. Thank you, my darling. Chef Ramsay would like you guys to taste the tuna. It is really spicy. I've been saying this since I got here. I never had a problem. Doesn't matter if you love it or not. Everybody else, four times I've got complaints about being spicy. So he's he's done with it. Ribs are destroyed. Sunday we made those. That's a week. Four days. 
Whatever, send it. Just send it out. Send it out. Four day old ribs, bro. If you knew that it was going to be bogus, you should have never even sent them out. But this stuff, he wants change, though. But you know, nobody's letting it happen. Wow. I see platters like that. I hear Hawaiian music. It's not even on fire. So do we use that and start grilling um, away? Or? It, it's for looks. Thank you. Are you trying to get the smoke detectors to come? No, I'm trying to get the thing off the top. Excuse me. Uh, having a world-known uh, chef yeah. figure out my food is not good. Tiki yeah. platter. Shitty platter. All these Hawaiian dishes. Do we know Hawaii and Florida are not the same thing? We need Bill ready to carve a play. Tell my father to put it. But like I said, Florida don't got good food. Ma'am, got. She 42 at that at the crib? Ain't no way. No dudes coming over. That's tough. Chef Cody. Yeah. Cheryl wants you to put your black chef coat on. Next, Philly Mignon. So I'm sort of looking forward to a really nice classic piece of meat. Show you where it is. Strip down, baby. I'm not looking. I'm getting excited. We have a flaming filet mignon that I serve table side. People just love it. The chef's dream, filet mignon. Mm. Something simple, something classic, and something that's not normally served on a trolley. What the fuck? <laughs> Rather annoying. What is that thing? These are roof tile. We're eating it from the tile. Yeah, I'm gonna finish it. It's still cooking. You'll love this. Yeah, you'll I'll love this. this. What's that in there? This is butter and garlic. Oh, garlic butter. Uh huh. It goes on top. And so the tsunami is the garlic butter running down the drain pipe. Right. Watch out! All the stuff dripping out the end. <laughs> Thank you very much. Quite welcome. Wow. Well, me. Mm. That's the toughest and the most chewiest filet mignon I've ever tasted in my entire life. It looked the things I chew. Did it look medium? Is it chewy? The meat is so tough. Do you uh, want me to? Yeah, no, I, 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 I finished it. Take this out of your yeah, wife. Thank you. Okay. Chef Ramsay hated the food. He hated the decor. And I can't understand why. Less than impressive. The decor is super tacky. Like, you got to understand. It looks like a retirement home. Low key. Like, like what's like in a... It looked like Benordum. Benidorm. Like the show, when they go eat at that place, that's what it looked like. With lunch. Brian. Brian, good to meet you. Chef Ramsay is anxious to discuss Flamengo's eclectic cuisine with the head chef. And how long have we been here? Um, about a month. What's it like cooking that food? Does it blow you away? Are you excited? No, it doesn't you... blow me away. I think it's all over the place. Straight up, would you eat it? No. No, but you have to serve it to me. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this like single is crazy. At 42, she looked good for a 42 year old woman. I mean, not saying that other 42, she looks good at her age, is what I'm saying. And she got a wagon. <laughs> I seen it. That's, I'm, this is a reaction channel, I'm reacting. So I know she got, you know what I'm saying? Options. She's just choosing to try to make the business work. And being respectful of her parents at the same time, I understand it. When a new chef starts in a restaurant, he wants to put his imprint on the menu. Right. But they all want change right now. Who doesn't want change? The owners. Right. Who it's writes the, the menus? We do. Why wouldn't you listen to your chef? I don't know. It's frustrating for me, too, because, like I said, I've made the suggestions. I've said we need you to You sent it to me. You sent every fucking dish to me. And it was embarrassing. Well, That's not cooking. That's dog shit. We take pride in what we serve, and he just ripped it apart. 
It's awful. Coming up, you can make this work. Chef Ramsay is already aware that the food is horrible, and the chef is really an unhappy cook. But before Gordon can even contemplate making changes, he needs to get the complete story by observing a dinner service. What name? Her. Her. All right, you can follow me. When the dinners start coming in, just start throwing some asparagus on, put it on the side. The menu's large. The menu's a little all over the joint. It is. You know, really big. I don't have time to review this. It's got a lot of things on it. Tonight's dinner service is busier than usual because Chef Ramsay is in town. You ready to order? And as customers order from this massive menu... I'll have the country rainforest tilapia. Okay. Tickets are flying into the kitchen. Here we go. Calamari marinara. But the challenge to perfect such a huge variety of dishes is overwhelming for Chef Brian. I, I don't even know what to do. Absolute crazy. You know yeah. time I said it's important to have a small flowing menu I said because you want to be able to cook um, multiple things at one time or your kitchen is going to be backed up and I learned that from this show I was really getting my Michelin chef on but being muted just ruined it <laughs> yeah, got way too many tickets up there. You can't have 400 things on your menu. You just can't do it. I don't care who you are. Doesn't matter. We're absolutely buried over here. Buried. We don't even have these set up yet. Unbelievable. Although Chef Brian is slammed in the kitchen, it's like, a, it's like a circus over here. The customers are not exactly sympathetic. Nice What's going on back here? We've been here since 6 o'clock. I can't do it. They're all waiting the well, you same might amount. Say something, you know? Like we know. Shut your mouth already. Absolute crazy. Adele's attitude is completely toxic, and it trickles down from us to the patrons. It's 45 minutes into dinner service, and Brian has finally completed the first order. Damn, bad energy. Orders. I need his food out of the window right now. However, just all as cold. fast as dishes are rushed to the dining room, they are quickly returned to the kitchen. Hey guys, the shrimps are just way too small. And she said the red rice, the risotto is just bland. Oh my god. I've had it today already. I've had it. Why am I here? That's it. I'm taking a break. Fuck this. Right, two six. Bottom line, I mean, it was just about overwhelming. Disaster. Disaster. Major. It's the menu I was thrown into, and it's a disastrous menu. How can you get passionate about cooking something you hate? It's all over the place. It's uncookable. Right. I need to know that you're committed. I'm committed, committed to change. Yes. Because they have no clue. This restaurant turnaround cannot depend on them. It depends on you sticking with me. Is that clear? 100%. Okay, 100%. thank you. Yep. Now that Chef Ramsay understands Brian's issues, they head back to the kitchen. Here I go. It's a chef, it's a food thing. And the chef wants change, but the, 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 the menu is so un, unhelpful. <laughs> They gotta change it, make it smaller, make it more flowing. Meanwhile, Bill is ready to serve the table side tsunami. I get tired real quick, but to help the business, I'll do whatever I have to do. Is that well no, it's me and rare. If you just cut that a little bit, you'll see it's me and rare. All you have to do is cut it. No, but I mean cut it this way, because this was sitting on a hot tile. You stop eating. Sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh, you old man going round and round the dining room. You shouldn't be doing this at this pace. Yeah. Well, they're Not too so cheap because they're too cheap to hire anybody else. What are you trying to do? Put the father in the grave? I mean, Let's he's got one foot in there already. He didn't even want to do this. He didn't want. He wanted he to told retire. Me that. if that's what hurt. Yeah. Bill is overworked. Bill is doing this out of love, 100. percent And it's not fair.
After a night where he witnessed a dejected chef, unhappy patrons, and an overworked older owner, Gordon knows he has to have a serious talk with the tough mother-daughter team of Adele and Cheryl. I wanted to talk to you both personally and express my concerns about Bill. I'm seriously worried about him in a big way. Running around at the age of 70, pushing a cart. Why are you guys letting him do this? He really doesn't work that much. You know what? It's always poor Bill. Bro, is this lady serious? They're 70. They 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 together. They've retired together. They've been married a long time and she's talking down on her husband like this. I bet you she's super controlling. That's Bill's nickname. Poor Bill. Why have you asked me to come here? Because I feel like I'm wasting my time. Because we don't know what the problem is. The service downstairs tonight, how was that? The kitchen, the kitchen is was a disaster. Yeah. So you've employed the chef? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't been given chance to cook. He's cooking your menu. Right. Well, I, we never changed the menu since we opened. He never gets chance to show you what he can cook. Because we felt that our food was very good. Right. It's not. Are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talk to him, Gordon. I guess I am. You're accepting that it's perfect. Yeah, here we I'm go. trying to tell you bluntly that it's not. Yet you never seem to accept your own mistakes. It's never your doing. We thought our food was good, but now you just, you know, said it's horrible. No, 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 no. Gordon can't be the first one. Y'all always get stuff sent back. Your restaurant not bussing. It got to be something. It's, when a restaurant is not successful, it got to be the food. Because you can go to the hood and the restaurant, the decor is terrible. The the, 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 the the employees are terrible. But as long as that food hitting, it's busting. <laughs> it's okay. The food good. I'm putting up with it. Now, don't tell me y'all watching this don't got a, a show, a, a restaurant like that around. Everything is terrible, but the food is good. So you keep going. Come on, man. If the food is bad, the whole is you're done. You cannot see a problem in your own establishment. No. I'm being honest. What I would like to see is just a little bit more integrity with owning up to the responsibility to why this place is not working. There's no acceptance on your own mistakes. Good night. Hey, Gordon came in there and put his foot down. He ain't trying to hear that. Chef Ramsay realizes that the only way to begin to... I got a friend that looked like this animal. What is this, a llama or an alpaca? I got a friend who looked just like one of these. Funny. Chef Ramsay realizes that the only way to begin to fix some of these problems is to do something these owners have never done. Have a staff meeting. It's so important to clear the air. If anyone's got anything to say, please talk about it. I'll listen to anything. Don't get nervous Doesn't now. Doesn't mean I'm gonna agree to it. The menu needs to be simplified. Are you kidding? Cut it way back. People want to come in here and cut off shorts and have a beer and a burger. Yeah, but you just started. I don't even know how you cook thoroughly yet. You've got to Dang. have the confidence Straight and the them. to step up to the mark. You need to be a little bit more entrusting on that and less nervous about letting go. I can't do my job if- You know what that means when people close their arms? They're not really trying to receive what you're saying. They closed off to any idea that you got to say. Hmm. They don't let me do my job. Okay, next question. I can't understand why the F you don't like me. Well, 
Isabel, you're an excellent server, but you don't freaking listen. But I know what I'm doing. I don't need to be constantly told the same thing over and over again. Isabel, please be quiet. Why would you think you have to tell me when I've been here you, for two years? You I know what the F I'm doing. Isabel, you don't know when to shut up. They don't want to hear opinions. This lady is aggressive. Still gonna get treated like garbage. I don't think they're going to change. Coming up, a firestorm no one saw. Centrally located next to the train station, Flamangos has managed to push away its local customers. My bad, my bad. Today, Chef my Ramsay bad. begins his plan to bring them back. We basically said that lady is, is crazy. Like, she's wild. She got, she's disrespectful. <laughs> Start making some changes. Yeah? I am afraid to make the change. Change number one. Let this man cook something that he wants to put on as a special tonight without any interruptions from you two. Second change. Bill, what is your favorite dish to cook? My meatloaf. When was the last time you cooked it? Eight years ago. Tonight you're gonna cook that as well. Really? Change, yes. I don't want you around there pushing the trolley out, running around like Gordon, I trust you. Eight years he ain't cooked meatloaf? You can't just throw a man in there. Okay, but I guess he is 70. So he been cooking meatloaf for 62 years before that, so okay. Like a blue ice slice. <laughs> Both items will go on tonight as specials. My meatloaf that I've been making for years that I haven't made in a long time, it's gonna be great to have it on the menu tonight. Your meatloaf. What are you seasoning with? Fresh parsley and a little salt and pepper. I enjoy cooking a lot better than pushing the trolley around. <laughs> Brian, what your meatloaf. What are you seasoning it with? Fresh parsley and a little salt and pepper. I enjoy cooking a lot better than pushing the trolley around. <laughs> Brian, what are you doing? Chicken and shrimp jubilee, rosemary, gorgonzola, brown sauce. <laughs> Chef Ramsay definitely let me have free reign on creating my own special, and I wanted to prove it to Bill and Adele that I can do it. I can handle the job. Brian, very nice. Dig in. That is so good. Look good. Mm. Yeah. Thumbs up. Mm. Yeah. Yes? Good. Everybody happy? Yes. yes. I liked it, but I would never order meatloaf out. Never. I can't. Oh, this is your husband. Stop hating. People order meatloaf out. Believe that Chef Ramsay wants meatloaf. Tonight. Meatloaf is like one of my favorite foods. I'm not even going to cap to you. I love meatloaf. Meatloaf and lasagna and gyros. I love them. We can't have a disaster. So let's get set up. Let's get prepped. We're opening up. Let's go, guys. Yes. As Chef Brian and his team prepare specials for tonight's dinner service, no detail goes unnoticed by Chef Ramsay out in the dining room. What? Those nails. What's going on there? What happened? Aren't they pretty? Prissy, they're fucking I don't. disgusting. Chef Ramsay asked her about her damn nails. Cheryl is the 80s. Are you high maintenance or what? Huh? You know what's crazy? Those nails are fully back in style now. 100%. Long, colorful. I work hard. Yeah. Unfortunately, the wrong places. Hello. Hi. Follow me. All of our specials tonight are excellent. I'll have the okay, chicken jubilee. I'd like the meatloaf, please. Excellent choice. I think there's hope adding the special. So you never had meatloaf. Somebody in the chat said they never had meatloaf. In America, you could almost any almost any American like diner will have it or food place will have it. It wouldn't be hard to find in a restaurant. It depends where you are in America, also. But will people like it? I don't really know. Right, I want to see you step up to the mark tonight, okay? So get on top of it from the outs. Yes, sir. Ordering three Jubilee meatloaf chicken special. I'm on. Really big night tonight. More importantly, these specials have to work, but Brian has to come out of the kitchen and run it like a head chef because, unfortunately, the owners employed him as a... That's key. Like, here's the thing, though. When you order a meatloaf in America, this is all you got to do is ask this one question. Hey, is it made fresh? Like, is it, was it made today? Was it made fresh? 
If they say, yeah, then, then try it. If you don't like it, send it back. Order something else. Simple as that. The line crew. <laughs> Tonight has to be his night. Three Jubilees picking up. One kilo. Many of the diners have ordered the specials. Chicken special. And that has had a positive impact on the kitchen. You're doing okay. You're doing beautiful. Brian is not spread too thin and is able to push out the food much more efficiently than last night. Go with this, please, please. And in the dining room... How is everything bad? Meatloaf and Chicken Jubilee specials are creating a buzz. Meatloaf, uh, out of this yeah. world. While the original menu is... See, but Meatloaf, see, I don't like... Like, I, okay, there's two types of Meatloaf, man. The Meatloaf I grew up on and always has got the red sauce, which is like a ketchup base paste type situation this meatloaf got the brown gravy which is cool as well but i like the ketchup based one more creating a slightly different kind of buzz it's over though i'll bring the owner over okay to talk to you adele yeah table 31 the mahi is overdone they want to speak with you i'm a little busy okay i know you're busy i'm letting you know that they're waiting I mean, did. That's what I did. Okay, so stop fucking me. I'm pretty fed up. I'm treated like almost stupid. Adele can be down right now. I'm pretty fed up. I'm treated like almost stupid. Adele can be down right nasty and insulting. Okay, complaints. What are they? Okay. Dang, hey, just like that? That's how she came up? It's dry. Dry. So you don't want it. Okay. Bastard. I know when the customers come in, you have to, to be positive, but they're liars. They're liars? Why would they lie? People want to come in, eat good food, and leave. Why would they lie and waste time? I bet you see more shit in here than a muck spreader has in New Jersey for the last hundred years. See you later, my friend. He's killing me right here. I'm dying with the fuck sight. A lot of special left in the kitchen. Which helped a lot, but I was still discouraged with the old menu. It just got a little backed up. Oh, if we missed the chicken penne. Get that going on the fly. I need a chicken breast working on the grill. The biggest panic in that kitchen there is trying to get your head around doing this menu. There's so many components in that menu that you're right. reaching for this or reaching for that, that everything's right. just so sporadic. Nothing right. streamlined. And that's why it's an absolute nightmare. I mean, a real nightmare. Bye. Thank you. Here's the good news. Chicken special, meatloaf, we're big here. Now, the changes may have been subtle, but it wasn't enough. Nowhere near enough. In order for this to work, whether Adele or Cheryl likes it, this place needs to take a dramatic turn. I think Adele dislikes it more than Cheryl. Cheryl is like, she doesn't like it, but she's like, hey, we need to make money. I need a man. I need to get up out of this house. So whatever we need, you know what I'm saying? In fact, the biggest turn has ever had since this place has opened. It's time. Not need, but want. I want a man. She don't. She probably don't need nothing. But it would be nice. To say goodbye to the tropics in the center. And if I was an adult back in these days, hey, listen, ma'am. of New Jersey. Everybody, stand up, grab a chair from the dining room, and follow me. I haven't got distracted. <laughs> to say goodbye to the tropics in the center of New Jersey. Everybody, stand up, grab a chair from the dining room, and follow me. Let's go. I was just wondering what's going on. Grab a chair, take two. Let's go. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. What's gonna happen? Oh, hold on. No! What do you mean, no? That's I, Willie, my alligator. Trust me, I need him. In the truck. I can't believe Chef Ramsay grabbed my alligator and just threw it in the truck. Just threw it in there. Oh, hey, easy with my hey. chair. Hey, you need the menus. <laughs> ah. Ah. I don't think it's funny. Watch if you want to keep your job. Right. Well, I want that alligator. 
They are not getting that. Cheryl and Adele are in complete denial about this. I think they might be type hoarder situation. Place. Let Nobody it go. wants this tacky tropical decor. They better not throw that stuff out. Or there's going to be a problem. Where'd oh, the fire oh, truck come from? What is going on? I want my alligator. Come over. I had a very good feeling that this is the <laughs> Gordon Oh, yes, he light it on fire. Beginning of the end of flamingos. Adele, the only way I know when I leave White House Station that the tropics I'm gonna creep back in is to burn them. <laughs> gone to the menus, gone to the bamboo, gone to the crocodile, gone to the pineapples. Really? The tropics are going. My greatest fear is to lose everything we worked for. She's sick. Three, two, one. Oh! Why would they do that? When I leave White House Station at the tropics, I'm going to creep back in <laughs> is to burn them. <laughs> the tropics are... It's literally for the best. Why would you put, put a tropical eye... Why would you even do this in... Jersey, like it makes no sense geog ge geographically. Going. Three, two, one. Hold on, wait. Sorry, I forgot the most important thing. The sign. <laughs> Say goodbye to flamingos. I just can't tell you how happy I am to see that flamingo sign gone. Ready? I'm going to leave you to the expert. Thank you so much. Please do it quickly before they change their mind. Gordon A never agreed to this. Look at that. Anyone for cooked alligator? Yeah. <laughs> I can see the negativity brewing in her. It feels great to watch flamingos go up in fire. Adele may be upset. Oh, come on, Adele. Come on, let it go. It wasn't working. That she's losing the traffic but it wasn't working. Right. Oh, Florida here. <laughs> that is amazing. And I know she feeling like everybody laughing at her because she don't find this funny. Amazing. Wow. Is that right, Mom? Look at your dad, like, Bill. I don't want you to be upset. Bill don't care. Bill, like, I'm trying to go... Feed the cows and be on my farm. I don't even want to be here. I'm cool. Please. She is. Huh? You're going to make me cry. I am devastated right now. A change is difficult. It is. And sometimes it's hard to say goodbye to the past. Yeah. He just said goodbye in the biggest fashion. It'll be all right, honey. It'll be fine. It's just the tropics. The good. four walls are fine. We have faith in you. The past is gone. It will be. For the this is why she wanted Gordon here, though. He's no nonsense, no BS. She said it in the beginning. Better, but Adele needs to come around. Now I have regrets. I don't know what's to come, so we'll see. It's all right, baby. After getting rid of the tropics, she'd be all right, man. I ain't heard nobody say devastated in about 10 years. That's tough. Gordon now moves ahead with his plan to transform flamingos. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are we? Okay, nervous. I told him the change would not be subtle, and it's important you embrace change. That's not easy, but it's for the best. Ready? Ready. Yes. Yes. Goodbye, Florida. <laughs> no more mangoes. Welcome oh. to the. Junction. How appropriate is that? Yes. That fits. Railroad tracks. That fits. Junction means trains, but junction also means coming together, which is what this community is going to do on a daily basis. They are going to come together at the junction. Oh, I love it. Adele, how does it sound? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Takes me a while. Takes you a while. Yes. I'm not happy about the name. Come in. Welcome to the junction. Oh, oh wow! Oh, my God! 
I'm not gonna lie. The, 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 anything was better than that tropical stuff. Look at the size of this place. To open up this room was absolutely crucial. It looks twice the size. Oh my god! The wow factor was everything. I can't believe the wall is. Yeah, it's it's a better. It's a it's better. On. The tropics have gone. This restaurant was claustrophobic. I just don't like white stuff. Like 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 the white chairs and the white. That's, that's gonna throw me off. But I'm not Gordon, so whatever. It's much more open. Sand it down and distress the tables to match the chairs. The pineapples have gone. And more importantly, it's just lighting the whole place up. Look at the raw bar! There is no longer a raw bar. This is milkshake heaven. It's perfect. It's a lot more casual now. I'm very excited about the junction. Adele, what do you think? I don't like it. I don't like it. I hate blue. Unbelievable. I'm dumbfounded. You said bro is not from the UK. Obviously. <laughs> Who said I never said I was? I don't think I have ever heard anyone say they hate the color blue. I hate it. I hate it. You hate it. How can you be positive hate it. about something you hate? Ugly. Don't want to throw up. Now see, I I, I can see. I could, bro, get the fuck off the stream then. Don't nobody care if it's missing. What are you talking about? See you later. Bye. <laughs> Let me help you. Let me block you. Since I'm, I'm all about the negativity, block. You're gone. <laughs> I hate it. Hate, hate, hate. Oh, my God. Simple as that. The changes to what was once called Flamangos has been dramatic. It's terrible. And Adele is finding it hard to accept any of them. I <laughs> bro, study on the stream, talk about some bros not from the UK. Like, bro, I understand this is your first time here, but just sit here and wait. Then say something. But then you get to saying some dumb shit like, get up, get, goodbye. <laughs> I love you. Just to what was once. Threw me off. Like I was saying about Adele, though. I almost agree with her about this decor. I, it wasn't their best work, in my opinion. Hey. Oh my god. I don't like I don't like the color scheme either. I ain't even gonna hold you. The changes to what was once called flamangos has been dramatic. It's terrible. And Adele is finding it hard to accept any of them. I love what we had. That's all. And uh, this is a very drastic change. And I really don't like it. Think about your customers, because this is not for you to sit and enjoy. This is for you to run as a business. I regret yeah, it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta detach yourself from this. This ain't about you right now but i want to see the menu you know but i do agree with her on a personal preference i don't think this is their best work and i don't like the white with the blue i don't like it let's see how it's all going to come together adele thank wow. you now this is trying to keep it in keeping with what's happening in the community it's diverse it's sophisticated and more important it's modern how does that read for you I mean, it, it's simple. There's a little bit of everything for everyone. Yeah. Burgers, meatloaf, we do a chicken. It's comfort food, but it's fancy comfort food. There's no other place around here like this. What do you think of the menu? I mean, this is very limited. <laughs> she don't like nothing. Bro, there's no positivity coming out from her. Like, she has been negative to her husband. She don't like nothing. She don't like her employees. She don't like her husband, barely. She don't like the, the restaurant, which the color scheme, which I can agree on. She don't like the menu. Limited menu. This menu is so limited. It's not going to be successful. And people are not going to come in with that small, small menu. I'm trying so hard to help here. Yeah. There's one thing I need to say to you is that you cannot be personal about nostalgia that hasn't worked. And you have to embrace change. Because if you're not going to embrace change, do yourself a favor. Shut the shop and retire. 100%. Shut 
She has to get used to it because this is what's going to bring people into this restaurant. And Adele's sitting, looking like she wants to throw herself in front of a train. After Chef Ryan spent the day learning the Junction's concise menu... That looks marvelous. Chef Ramsay introduces the staff to the new dishes. If you just have a look at the portion size, it's in keeping with the Crab plate. cakes, this is burgers. Warmer, not just a... That's a table full of stuff. Burger. Three different mini buffalo, meatloaf, and a turkey burger. The bigger portions, glazed salmon, a simple, delicious roast chicken. Who'd like a taste? Dig in. <laughs> dig in, dig in, dig in. Tell me, tell me someone more. Do, do, do you think it tastes nasty as too, man? Mm. That's different. That's good. These salmons are so juicy. I oh hate salmon. <laughs> I love salmon. Oh. Tastes like a fish. Adele, how's the salmon, darling? <laughs> oh. It tastes like a fish? It's a salmon? Am I mistaken? It, it is a fish. It's just probably super fresh. She ain't never used to this fresh stuff. <laughs> The new menu is exactly what we needed. It's nice and simple. But She's wigging out. Hard time bro. accepting change. This was their last chance to pull this place out. Just go with it. She is bugging. It's 30 minutes before the doors open to this new restaurant. You got your salad bowls? Yeah, I'm ready. Beautiful. And everyone is excited about the menu and decor. Everyone except Adele, who has hidden herself in the kitchen on the dessert station. What are you looking for? Crumb, apple crumb, but it's out. Joe, can you do desserts? Yes, sir. Here, give me, I'll take that. He's fine. He can do a dessert. All right. I need your smile. I'll be right out. Double tap to the cheek is crazy. I'm very nervous. It shouldn't be to my liking. It's to what the customers will want. I don't know if they're gonna like this. Good, first customer's there. I really want to go home. Did you just say you want to go home? Yes, I did. Go home then. Right now, I don't feel my mother feels she has hope. The register has to start ringing for her to feel more confident, because I know she's mortified. As the restaurant starts to fill up with customers, Chef Ramsay inspires the kitchen staff for the big night. Right, Bright, you ready? Yes, sir. When I get an owner like that out there that tells me she wants to go home, tonight, I need you to get even more in control to make this fucking thing work, yeah? Let's do it, yeah. I feel great about the new menu. This is a new beginning. Let's take it from there. The sky's the limit. All right, let's do this. This looks like a place to be fun to come to every day. Really? Thank you. It's open. Ah. Dang, customer saying it to her face. Looks fun. It's um, inviting, right? You should hear what those people say. I know, say. they love it. They love it, and then it's this is more inviting to go to than it was before. Well, screw it down. She's taking it too much. She had a she had really was attached to this old place. The old decor and all of that. I'm not screw them. They're the ones the money. I'm gonna have the chicken jubilee. I'm gonna have the glazed salmon. Ribs, okay. Chicken jubilee, lemon chicken. With the first orders in, the pressure shifts to Chef Brian, who must execute the junction's new menu. Should be easy. Salmon, the jubilee next, so let's finish those. Put the whole pan in the oven. Don't even sizzle the plate. Beautiful. Twenties in the window. Curious. All okay. done. Thanks to Chef Ramsay's more focused menu, Brian is able to get orders out in a timely manner. Yeah, that came out real swift. Like I like it. I like it. Enter. Table thirty in the window. We gotta make sure nothing come back though. Make sure everything's cooked to perfection. Ooh. And more importantly, this is money. the customers are loving the food. It's really good. Who would have thought? You got Brian Dill pickle. It's not flavor. It's very moist. It's very tasty. I like this, and it's it's nice and bright. It's too bright. Ma'am, oh my God, she's talking to the customers like. Like it. Oh. Now, where's the old pack? Where's mom? <laughs> what? I just don't have the patience anymore for anything. Nice to see. You. Where is Madame Grumpy? Where is she? Oh, here we are. He says it's gonna work. How stupid can you be? Can I have a quick word with you? Two seconds. Wait. What's the matter? I'm very upset. I don't like this setup. The decor. You can make this work. Only if you believe in it. Already you don't. 
like sometimes you would think like the proof is in the pudding, like the proof is in the results. There's results already. Like customers saying we love this, we'd come back to this, we love this, the food is good, oh my god, it's great. Like, are you serious? Believe in it. The negativity is gonna rub off on your staff, mm -hmm. it's gonna rub off on your daughter, and the customers will be feeding you. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I need to get out of here. I have to be proud of what I'm doing. I am not proud of this. Then get out. I would never run a restaurant like this. I want to go home. I would rather close the doors. This is insane. I ain't never seen this type of reaction to this. It's opening night. The only thing that I agree on her about is the, the decor has got threw me off. At the bit, junction. Man. And even though the customers are happy, Very well seasoned. Adele is miserable and ready to leave. I want to go home. Chef Ramsay is frustrated, and he knows the only way to get through to Adele is through her husband, Bill. Why is Adele so against it? Help me, please. She's that way. But she's our first point of contact. Yeah. If you do me a favor and just ask her to put a smile yeah, on that face. face. Okay, I, I will do that. Adele you can't hide her emotions. If she's mad, you're going to tell. And it's a struggle to get her to go in your direction. But I'm going to give her what I got. How you doing? Okay? I'm scared. I'm so nervous. Don't be scared. Just keep smiling. Smile. Smile. There you go. Yeah, there you go. My mother is a, a hard shell to crack. My father is great. He's talking to her, Don't trying like to make that, her feel Adele. better. Wonderful yeah. job. It was Good. delicious. Thank you. Good. I'm glad delicious. you enjoyed it. Uh, Even if you don't like it, keep it to yourself. The register is ringing. You like Very Bill's good. meatloaf? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. I wanted to tell you how beautiful the chair is. You like it. I do. She, is she said, you like it, huh? <laughs> it's lighting up. Is she lighting up? Yes. I don't think I've gone that long. It's got to happen before I'm 17. <laughs> I told you she's a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't tell me on what scale of a pain in the ass she is. Oh, she's 11. 11. <laughs> it's always the people that want Gordon there that want him to leave immediately and don't like what he does. <laughs> This is great. Oh, this good. Is wonderful. Thank you. It was a success. People love the food, and I feel that there's hope. Everybody's happy. It was very good. 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 I'm really glad you enjoyed. In spite of the dramatic changes, the staff rose to the occasion. Done. Done. And customers left happy. And now. Yeah, the, for like, this is like the third time where the chef wasn't the issue. Even Adele appears to be coming around. First of all, I want to thank everybody for all their hard work, yeah? And a big thank you to the Queen. <laughs> I'm serious. Why? There were a lot of changes. Yes, it was scary, but she pulled it off. It's very hard to put the past behind. I think the restaurant could be successful, but I don't know, only time will tell. When I first arrived, you'd lost touch with your customers in the community. Tonight, you reconnected in a big way. Tonight, the junction, even though the history is very short, it's only three hours old, is a success. But it's only the foundation, okay? You need to build on it together. Chef Ramsay definitely is giving us a second chance, and I'm just very anxious to be successful, and I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I, I will too. be back, and I'll take great pleasure in witnessing oh, mom was wilding. success. And by the time I get back, madam, I want you moved out of that house. <laughs> yes? Promise me? I promise. OK, good. Well done. Seriously well done. Yes? What I've learned from Chef Ramsay is change is good, and I'm up for it. Thank Take you. Take care. Can't wait to see Thank you. you. And maybe I'll get some of the money back that I put into this place. Oh, then I could retire. Right, again. Good night. again. Yes. Big kiss. God, it's so nice to see you smiling like that. You know that. Well, I'm glad you enjoy New Jersey, at least this part of it. I'm thinking of moving here. Oh, my God. God help you. <laughs> Somebody got to give me the update. What a week. We made some dramatic changes here. We changed the menu. We changed the decor. We even changed the name. 
That, honestly, was the easy part. The hardest part was changing Adele. She has to look forward, otherwise the history of the junction will be a short one. 100%. Got her a long way from home. Where is my train? Come on. I forgot to this. Yeah, they In the give days updates. that followed, Adele slipped back to her old, stubborn self and started to redecorate the junction. The new concise menu, however, remains in place and is a hit in White House Station. We're doing meatloaf. So what does she just add her little touches? I like that. To make it feel better? Next time. I know for a fact that restaurant was closed. If Adele was still doing what she was doing, slowly but surely drove it into the ground, man. Yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification, I'm good.